Hi, this is Roger Conrad. I'm co-editor of MLP Profits with Elliot Gu. And what I want to talk about today is um, something of a short, something that has uh, pretty much a short-term impact on the prices of the MLPs, and we've been reporting on um, in MLP Profits, and that is uh, share issue, share issues. Um, MLPs, one of their uh, greatest appeals is the fact that dividends increase over time. Now, the key to increasing those dividends is the ability to raise capital to fund uh, new projects. Um, as we've said, we're not in the kind of environment today where it's a build it and they will come uh, mentality in, in the executive uh, levels. In other words, uh, MLPs are not putting anything together, new, any new projects together, unless they're able to contract those projects um, and are able to arrange financing. And all that stuff is done before the first spadeful of earth is turned. So we're in a pretty low risk environment in terms of new projects. Um, you know, the, the key to that, of course, is the ability to issue capital at a low cost. And this they're able to do. The MLP sector, and particularly the stronger ones that we have in um, MLP profits, um, have been able to issue capital at cheaper and cheaper rates, uh, debt as well as equity. And again, equity is uh, partnership units. Uh, what happens, though, ironically, is every time they issue uh, some, some new, new units, uh, you see pretty predictably a selling uh, pattern in, in the unit. So um, just recently, uh, just this week, uh, TK uh, Shipping, um, which uh, one, of the, one of the picks in the uh, uh, growth uh, holdings, um, they announced an, a share issue and the stock immediately uh, came down uh, in, in price. Um, again, we've seen this over and over again. A lot of people write in and ask us, what's going on? Is this uh, a bad thing? What should I worry about the dilution? Basically, what it comes down to is they have to issue capital to permanently fund new projects. The cash flow from those projects comes in over time. So yes, there's some immediate dilution, but um, as these projects come online, as they start generating more and more cash flows, that's when the return is, is realized. So that's the key to higher dividends again and a gradual ratcheting up in, in unit prices as we've seen um, over time. So um, what, what this really boils down to is every time these, com uh, these, these MLPs issue units um, and there's something of a reaction in the market on the downside, it, it turns into an excellent buying opportunity um, for long-term investors. In fact, it's a, a great time to be picking up shares of, of a number. So um, again, we'll, we'll try to keep you informed of when these share issues happen. Um, and when there's a, a particularly extreme reaction to the share issues. Um, but these amount to major buying opportunities. There's certainly not anything to be concerned about. Again, MLPs issue capital for new projects. There's a tremendous demand for new projects. Uh, and they're in, there's no danger of, of any kind of speculative building going on, particularly with the recession so, uh, so recently behind us and the oil patch, uh, energy patch really still in, in uh, something of turmoil right now. So um, it, it, these, these, uh, the, these units, unit issues uh, really add up to higher dividends down the road. And uh, that's, again, when they create a selling, uh, some selling in the units and push the price down, a great buying opportunity. So that's all I have to say today. Again, thanks for tuning in. I look forward to chatting with you next time.